Hello, I'm Roberta. I'm the host of What's Cooking with Roberta. Tuna fish casserole. Then I need potato chips and a can opener. Okay, for tuna fish casserole, I have potato chips and I will put them into a bag. Generally, you eat your potato chips in your day every day life. And you know, at the bottom, you've always got a bunch of crumbs. So I save them. And that's the way that you use leftover potato chips. You crumble them all up so that you're not super fine, but that you have crumbs. I would say that's about a cup and a half. Mushrooms and one can of mushroom soup. It does not have to be the top brand, but whatever is in your area. Many times I use the store brand, it's just as good as the main brand. One cup of water measured in your can to rinse out of all the residue in the can. with a fork. Then you add your tuna fish drain. Tuna fish. We were Catholics. And so this was a very easy dish for every Friday which we get very frequently, especially in the wintertime. Uh, we were from Iowa, so you know what the winters are like back there. Snow, cold, everybody wanted and needed something warm. So today I'm adding two cans of tuna. One can of cream of mushroom soup. Generally, it was just can of tuna, one can of mushroom soup, one can of water, and a bunch of leftover tumbled up potato chips. Although, this is one of those recipes that you don't have to really measure anything. It's a good way to clean out cabinets and cupboards and whatever else. Sometimes I'll even add frozen peas or a can of, of peas to it or some frozen peas. And then you have that extra vegetable in there. Yes, you mix everything up into between the soup and the uh, tuna. You mix it all up and then you add the potato chips and mix that all in. So that everything is equally mixed and distributed in there can or the bowl and this will be put in the oven and baked for 350 degrees for a half an hour. It's one of those easy recipes you can make in a hurry if you're late getting home in the evening or if you have meetings, school activities, basketball games, football game, whatever, Friday night it will be a football game or a basketball game. Like this before you have to show it. It's very filling. And voila. That's it. Join me next time for Cooking with Roberta where I will be making green jello which can be
be a dessert or a salad. And of course your green can also be substituted for orange or red jello. But the ingredients will vary also. And it can be used as a fruit or a vegetable.